Now that we've finished removing our sidewall, removing our side edge, stoning, polishing, it's time to move on to base beveling. And base beveling is a very intricate part of how your ski is going to perform. What we like to do is make sure we start with a flat ski. There's many different base beveling tools that are out there. We have plastic, mold injected tools. We have variable mold injected tools. We have combination of steel and mold injected tools. We also have Sun Valley Ski Tools, the final cut, precision down to the degree, and a spring clamp to be used later. We have our stones, a World Cup stone kit, which contains polishing and cutting stones, T2 stone kit, which is just for doing polish, fine ceramic, medium ceramic, 220 cutting triangle, and 320 polish triangle. We'll also be using Secret Sauce polishing solution. The most important thing when choosing a base beveling tool is to make sure that the tool has an accurate stop on it and it has an accurate measurement from your stop point to the vantage point causing you to have a one degree. All these tools have them. The ones that wear the least amount is going to be the most efficient and the most accurate over time. That's why we choose the Sun Valley Ski Tools, the final cut. Now that we have full understanding of our tools that we'd like to use, I'm going to break it down to a few less tools and show you the use of the final cut tool. Take a normal 8 inch chrome file and our 1 degree TFC. We place this with the angle facing out, tang facing in towards our body. We're going to be working on the far edge of the ski. And we're going to start at the tip and we're going to make nice, slow, even passes. We're going to divide the ski up into thirds, just like when we do our side edge beveling, and work into the tail. Once the file starts to build up, because you're taking filings off, you don't want to clean that off by using a little brush or your file brush card. And continuing into the tail of the ski, we want to make sure that we stay smooth and slow to make sure that our base bevel stays consistent with the rest of the ski. Once again, clean your file out. Clean your guide, remove any excess that's on the base of the ski. You have to be very careful with the base of the ski. And with long final passes, starting in the tip and moving through the tail, let the file do the work, cut consistently and smooth down through the tail. You're going to use some polishing solution and first start with a cutting stone. You're going to move some of the slight styrations that have been put in by using your file. Start here with a little bit of polishing solution on your stone. Place in your guide, start in the tip, and just repeat the same actions that you've been doing. You can hear a slight pull on the edge where it's still picking up some of the micro burrs that have been created with the file. And once again, make sure you keep that tail nice and smooth. So starting at the tip, make nice even passes. The advantage of using the Sun Valley Ski Tools, TFC, the final cut tool, is that the base elevator plate to the base stop plate is exactly one degree. When put on the base of the ski, the distance from here to here is exactly one degree. There's also room for your filings and debris to come out the side of the file. A quick tech tip for this base beveling tool is to use a one inch spring clamp and place it on the stop. This way, if you have any worries about how much pressure you're putting on the guide, or if you're trying to over bevel on accident, this stops that. Just use it like you normally would. Put the spring clamp in there, then run the tool up and down the base of the ski. This way you don't over pressure the file into the base bevel guide. So to proceed, after we use our cutting stone, now we're going to use our polishing stone. We're going to place in there and repeat the process once again. At this point, the finer the stone that you're using, the less sound you should be making. You're using a less stone and less material that you're trying to, you're trying to remove. Long pulls, once you get that initiated, and you should just hear a natural, just slick sound of the pull. What's like you do there? Once again, with any of our stones, 
give me a quick squirt when you're done. And you can rub that, that mark right out of your stone. It makes them last a lot longer. Once you've established your base bevel, meaning once it's come off the stone grinder, you're only going to want to set this base edge one time. After it's set, the only thing you want to do after that is completely maintenance. Well, as you know, you will end up with some nicks, some burrs, and you'll end up with some minor impurities that end up on your edge. Well, to clean these up, you want to use things that don't change the base angle. That's why we use a 220 cutting stone and a 320 polish. Similar to what we were doing in our side edge beveling, is that we're going to use our 220 cutting to remove the burr and our 320 polish to recreate that same polish and hardening. These triangles fit right inside your tool. And if you have a small burr or imperfection right here, make a few quick passes to level that out. Remove that. Put our 320 polishing stone in there and finish it up. And as a final note, we do use the TFC on the far edge of the ski. So when you accomplish doing your first edge, you want to remove the ski and put it back in going the other direction so that we're always working on the opposite side of the body. The reason for that is, is because the TSC is designed with a space for all your filings and debris to exit away from the base of the ski.